So yesterday I was struggling really hard with my feelings and I woke up really late. I woke up at like 6 p.m. which is obviously not a good time to wake up. I didn't take my medication for my depression until way later in the day. I don't even know if I took it that day. I, uh, I was struggling um, with my thoughts and then I just got on to social media and it stressed me out even more. And um, it was one of the most bizarre, intense nights of my life in a sense of how I was feeling. And what I had happened was I stayed in my whole room for the whole day or whatever, started taking it out on myself with self-harming. And I did it more than I've ever done it and more extreme. And I was just really struggling. I really felt alone and scared. Um, and it's really shitty time I knew I shouldn't have done it and it just kept on getting more and more intense and I ended up just taking it further than I have in a lot of ways and making myself give my make myself in pain. I don't want to get into much detail about everything, but I was physically not being good to myself. One of those things with depression too, people think you can just like I don't know, flick a switch and make it go away and improve it step by step. And it's really difficult because there's certain days where I feel better and I feel hope and I don't, you know, obviously do things that are negative towards myself. Um, but there's that one day out of every few months or something where I just like have like a really bad time and I just end up erupting and I end up being rude to myself and taking it out on me. I've been struggling with depression and suicidal thoughts and all these things for since I was like 13 and I started getting therapy and all that and those things can benefit you I guess it's kind of like a weird thing to say like I, I think for me personally the only thing that's really benefited me was my medication but what ended up happening yesterday is I didn't take my medication and that obviously backfired on me um, and maybe get overwhelmed and probably mess up my brain a little bit because I've been taking medication for so long and then I didn't take it and then I get a lot more negative. But yeah, I ended up just staying in my room and I was really rude to myself and and it sucks and I know I know it's wrong and not something I want to do and I'm not happy about it. I've obviously um, I've been to mental hospitals and I've been 5150'd, 5250'd, I've even this year I think or last year and um, that's not fun. There's nothing fun about being 5150'd. Um, there's nothing fun about being away from your family and being trapped in a mental hospital and being with people that have different issues than you. Like it's, it's so bizarre why they even have those places set up the way they do because I remember when I went to my last one, I went to it and there was people that were struggling for so many different issues and then there was me struggling for self-harm and suicidal thoughts. It's not a fun experience and I, I, my last time being there, I was there for nine days. I definitely got a long um, experience with it and I don't like that. And I, I did make a lot of progress. There were things that were beneficial. There's things that I learned. But I think the thing with depression and anxiety and all these issues that I face that tear me down every day, or at least are a struggle and a battle and all that, is that it's uh, learning how to maintain it more so because I don't think personally, I don't think depression goes away and I don't think anxiety goes away. I think it becomes more manageable and more um, something that you can learn how to handle better and 
unfortunately yesterday I did not handle that well. Another thing I've been struggling with a lot of my life is uh, eating, which is kind of crazy, but um, I a lot of times won't make myself eat because it's something I can control and it's a way to almost harm myself without, you know, cutting myself or taking pills. It's a way to do it without anybody knowing in a sense, unless if I got noticeably skinny, but um, with eating, the hard part of it is that I feel like I don't deserve it sometimes or that it's just something that I can take out on myself and the more empty my stomach feels, the more pain I feel and that allows me to feel like I have some sort of control over myself to tear myself down and tear myself apart. It's funny because I, I love eating. Like it's great when I, you know, actually am in the mood for it or something or, you know, I'm not tearing myself down. I always feel so much better when I actually do eat. But a lot of the times I know that I have control over it and I'll just end up staying in bed and eating one meal a day at the most. I, I want to improve that so bad. Uh, but eating for me always felt like a chore and felt like something I don't deserve or all these like things that are really It's felt really hard to do I feel better today and I talked to some friends afterwards after my night and struggling and vented and Lit up my feelings and I think that helped me feel a lot better and then I took my medication so I do feel like I'm better i need to make sure to keep on doing that stuff and taking my medication and trying to not allow myself to get to that point that i was at yesterday but it almost feels like something like even though i'm making a youtube video about it i don't know if i'm gonna post it, i probably will but it's always felt like something that i've almost had to like keep to myself i don't want to be a burden and i know i'm not but for myself at least i i I just don't really, I, I have a lot of self-worth issues. I mainly wanted to make this video to talk to people and kind of let them know that they're not alone and like even a random YouTube guy or whatever struggles himself, obviously. I mean, I don't think that's really that surprising that I struggle because I've talked about it a few times and uh, I look the way that I do and I make music the way I do and all that. So it's kind of not surprising, but make sure that you don't lose yourself with it and you don't go too far into your negative thoughts and you learn that you can get help and that's something I had to think about because I really uh, lost myself yesterday with my feelings again and uh, I wasn't really I mean I, I feel negative all the time to be honest with you I I'm not like I don't know I'm pretty negative I guess Easiest thing about yesterday was the amount of crying that I was doing, which is something I usually don't let myself do because I'm very insecure with letting my guard down and crying in general is just a really hard thing to do. It feels like one of the hardest things for me to personally do. I, I don't really cry often, um, but yesterday it felt like really intense. I genuinely am struggling and always will be probably with this issue. I don't think it's something that's like, oh, you're cured. I don't think that's ever gonna happen. Um, I just want you all to know I am safe. I'm gonna make sure I'm safe. I've always been safe and I'm going to be, um, but it's hard and it's, you're not alone with your struggles in life and you're not alone with feeling like the world is too much to handle or that you're not deserving to live and you're not deserving to eat. Um, it's not how it should be. I always put myself in a different category of other people. If anyone else was saying, oh, I'm struggling with eating or I'm struggling with self-harm, I would say the nicest things or I would try to help them in a lot of ways. But when it comes to myself, it's always like, yeah, but you're the one exception. My last tour, I was drinking almost every single day. And that was something I think now looking back on it, it's something I can control and it's a way to feel numb and it's a way to feel more loose. So maybe I would be stupid. Um, 
which honestly during that tour, the last tour I did, uh, I was stupid and I, I took it out on myself during that time and I, um, I took too many of my pills and I was getting all loopy because I was trying to find ways to take it out on myself even though, I, I don't know, I just wanted to feel empty. I really want to get past that. I really want to like improve myself and I really want to not be drunk all the time. Um, I don't want to be having these urges to self-harm all the time and I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be starving myself. I don't want these things to be happening and I need to motivate myself to take care of my body. Um, and I don't want it to seem like I have a problem with drinking. I don't have a problem with people drinking or anything like that, but I definitely, and it's noticeable and I think my family's noticed and I think everyone's probably noticed that I do drink a lot more than I used to. When it comes to myself and taking care of my body and making sure it doesn't become a problem like it has been in the past where I drank multiple days in a row and stuff and it's just becoming a daily routine. Um, I need to make sure that's not uh, something I encourage because if that keeps on happening then I'm just gonna lose myself to that and I've been in that cycle and it's not fun and waking up hungover or sick from drinking too much the night before is exhausting and it makes your body feel horrible. I am safe, everything's cool, I'm, I'm fine now, I feel a lot better actually at least currently, um, obviously, like I said, like, you know, it's like super all over the place, um, emotions. And obviously when I don't take medication that keeps me more sane when it comes to, uh, my mentality and stuff, uh, it affects my mental state, um, to where I get overwhelmed or something. And then I end up doing things that I regret or that I'm not happy about. This video though, to tell you guys, if you're struggling with any of this stuff, you're not alone and we're gonna get through it together. I do believe so. I mean, I don't know how old you are or whatever, but I'm currently 23 and I didn't think I would make it to 23. I mean, when I was 13 and shit, I was wanting to kill myself, you know? I don't wanna make this video to talk about, I don't want people to be worried entirely. I just wanna talk about this because I, need to get it off my chest and I need to, I, I, I like to connect with my viewers, even though this year I've taken the biggest, weirdest turn in my life and I've been not really sure what I'm doing in life, but I still like to connect with people and I like to be authentic, I guess, or try to be, whether people perceive it or not that way. Um, I, no one deserves to feel this way and no one deserves to have depression or an eating disorder or anxiety. It, it, life's not fair. It never will be fair. Um, but it's always about overcoming these hurdles and learning how to cope with them and maintain them. There's so much to live for, even though there feels like there's nothing. Don't lose yourself to um, your demons because you wouldn't want somebody else to lose themselves to that. So don't do that and Think about the people that matter in your life, because I'm sure there's somebody. Um, and just know you'll get through it, and I'll get through it with you. I'm gonna try to stay stronger than I have been. Um, I'm gonna get back on the horse of trying to stay strong. I know I, I, I fell in a hole again, and I took it out on myself. But I'm ready to get back on, and. Um, I was lucky enough to have people help me build up again, and I am excited for the future, but it's okay to feel hopeless some days. So, I don't know. I don't know if this was a stupid video to make. Get through this, and thank you guys so much for all the support and caring about me and sticking with me for all these years. I hope you're good, and 2020 has been a hard year, but hopefully it will get better. Um, and hopefully 2021 will be in a great year and, um, just stay positive everyone and, uh, stay excited for the future and stay strong. But I have to go and leave you behind.
you know